y'all today i'm gonna be actually doing a um crock pot meal it's called the healthy unstuffed cabbage roll recipe um i've seen uh miss redbone 2010 she did it and i went on her um facebook fan page where she had the actual recipe you can like um go to and print off and stuff so i went and i did that and i have that link below but for mine, I'm going to do mine like a, a little different, just adding certain things in mine. I know that Miss Redbone 2010, she added carrots in hers. Um, hers came out looking really good. So for mine, I'm using ground turkey. Um, it calls for ground beef, but the recipe that I print off, she used ground turkey as well. Um, to me, ground turkey just tastes better as far as the flavor when you season it. So I'm using ground turkey. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all, my voice, I'm a little sick right now. But I use ground turkey, and I'm about to basically just put everything in a crock pot. Um, Miss Redbone 2010, she did hers in like a Dutch oven. And when I print out the recipe, the lady who did it as well, she did it in Dutch oven. But I want to just put all mine together and just, you know, let it go. So that's what I'm doing now, putting in the um, ground turkey. And I had two pounds, no, three pounds of ground turkey. I don't know if I'm going to use all of it. Um... So I'm just putting it in now to see how much it will hold. Um, so I'm just going to get everything in. Putting in, this is the cabbage. And I got more cabbage too. So I'm just trying to see how much, um, you know, it'll hold. And here are the potatoes that I'm putting in mine. carrots and the carrots are like the they're baby carrots but they're thick and I just kind of cut them on an angle um yeah and then now I'm going to add in the diced tomatoes and I do I want mine like a soup in a sense so I do want like a lot of um juice in it and then the tomato paste and I'll have like of course I'll link the recipe but I also write like what I did for mine because I kind of doubled some things um in it so, for instance, like, the recipe calls for one 6-ounce can of tomato paste. I'm doing, like, a 12-ounce can. And then it also calls for 6 ounces of water, but I'm going to do vegetable broth. And I'm probably going to do half of that. So, and this is a 32-ounce, so I'll do half of that. This is the tomato paste. I gotta add more to tomato paste, but I gotta mow the camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the broth. Trying to get in the light. Okay, that's about half. I'm sorry, y'all. This lighting. I'm trying to. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and finish putting in the tomato paste. Um, can't do it with one hand. So I'm going to go ahead and finish putting that in and get everything stirred together. And um, see if I can put more cabbage in it. And then I'll probably just come back just checking on it. And I'll let it go on high for probably about five hours. And um, I'll come back and let you guys see once I check in and things like that. So I will be back. Okay, y'all, so here it is all mixed in. And it'll probably be easier, like, if you had a big bowl to mix it all in and then put it in here. Because I had to actually, like, use my hands to get everything incorporated. And I used more than half of this. It's probably about, probably about this much left of it. So I'll let you guys know if I actually used the whole thing. Um, and I did cook the ground turkey before I put it in. Um, I've seen where people did it and they didn't. Um, pre cooked that meat, they just put it at the bottom and layered it. But I can, mm -mm. it's a my thing. I got, I went ahead and just cooked mine and um, added it all in here. And with it, we're gonna do the simple homemade 
um, baking mix, the cornbread. So we'll have that with it. And I'll check back in and just let you guys know um, how it's going. And if I have to add more of the chicken broth. Because like I said, I want it more of like a, a soup in a sense um, with broth. So yeah. And also season it to your liking. Um, it says like, I know basil. I think basil is one of the seasoning had on the um, on the recipe. Yeah, crushed red pepper, cumin. Those are optional. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, garlic cloves, uh, salt, and pepper. So, yeah. Season it to your liking. And I'll check back in with y'all. Alright. Bye-bye. Okay, y'all. So, it's actually been four hours. So, I'm going to go ahead and check it. Because I think it may be done. Um, you can cook it for four or five hours on high. So... This is how it's looking. It smells so good too, y'all. <laughs> and it is like a good amount of juice in it. Yeah, so that's what I wanted. If you want it, I mean, I guess, guess if you don't want it with this much liquid, then of course don't put, you know, that much in there. But I showed you guys how much was left um in the box that i used and i think i said i, I think i said i put chicken broth but it's the vegetable broth <laughs> that i put in there so i'm gonna try to see if the carrots are done poke it with a fork and see if it's done And it is. It goes right through it. So, yep. And then the potatoes. Fork should go right through that too. Yep. So, this is four hours. Let me see. Actually taste it and see. Let me taste the carrot to see. The fork went through it, but I still want to taste it to see if it's soft enough for me. <laughs> the carrot is good to me as far as the texture. I think I might let it go for maybe another 30 minutes for the potatoes. Try to push those down. And it's going to be, of course, to your preference. So, like I said, the recipe calls for, as far as the crock pot, um, <clears throat> low 8 to 10 hours. So high would be 4 to 5. And this is the 4 hour mark for me. So I'll probably let it go for another 30 minutes. And um, plate it up and come back and uh, let you guys see.